After several scandals besetting Turkey's top exam board, the Student Selection and Placement Center, OSYM, the exam results of more than 7,500 applicants of what is one of the largest centralized exams in Turkey have been incorrectly entered into the system. It has been revealed that the exam scores of more than 7,500 participants of the Public Personnel Selection Examination, KPSS, a centralized assessment used to determine those eligible to be employed in state agencies were incorrectly entered into the OSYM's mainframe. However, the incorrect insertion of exam results is not the only problem plaguing the OSYM. For example, when announcing the results of this year's KPSS, which was held in June, it announced that 12 of the exam questions had been cancelled. There are also ongoing investigations into 15 other KPSS questions, which if found to be faulty will bring the number of wrong questions on the KPSS to 27. Three questions have been cancelled this year alone on the undergraduate placement exam, LIS, three more on the higher education examination, YGS, and one on the TEOG exam. In a bid to curb nepotism and favoritism, in 2002, Mesem Turkur, then a state minister within the coalition government headed by the late Prime Minister Bülent Esevit, was one of the first to introduce the KPSS. A statement from the OSYM on Tuesday said 12 of the questions in the Geography and Social Sciences sections were cancelled as legal cases had been filed for the cancellation of some questions on the tests. The Turkish Geographers Association, TGA, had previously called 11 of the questions on the geography test faulty. A group of prospective teachers submitted an application to the OSYM on July 19 and requested the cancellation of the 11 geography questions, citing TGA's claims about them. This year's transition from primary to secondary education TEOG, exams, taken on April 29-30, were also the subject of controversy. The Ministry of Education had to postpone the announcement of the results, which was scheduled for June 24, due to a legal case launched in a dispute regarding an exam question in English, which was later cancelled on June 28. The Ministry finally announced the results of the exam on its official website on June 29. However, the results announced by the Ministry of Education turned out to be wrong due to a miscalculation of the grades of students from ethnic minorities which triggered another recount of the results. The Ministry of Education announced via a press statement on its official website on July 6 that the TEOG exam results had been recounted after the miscalculation. Banu Keskin, one of the applicants who had her points incorrectly recorded into the system, told today's Zayman that 13 of the questions she answered correctly were calculated incorrectly. I was shocked when I saw the KPSS results. I studied to be a primary school teacher in university. All primary school teachers are the victims of the same problem. I tried to contact an authorized office but no one is interested, she said. We primary school teachers want the exam to be recalculated, this time properly, Keskin said. Sidat Deer, vice president of the Anatolian Education Personnel Union, Anadolu I Time Sen, told today's Zayman after all of the recent mishaps that the integrity of the OSYM should be questioned and that it should be closed down. The OSYM, which cannot even prepare proper questions, expects students to be able to answer them, Deer said. If the OSYM cannot prepare proper questions and cannot calculate the points of the exams, we should go ahead and close it down. Omer Demir, who heads the OSYM, made a statement regarding the 12 questions that were cancelled on the 2015 KPSS exam, saying there could sometimes be tiny mishaps with some of the questions. Speaking on the state-run Turkish Radio and Television Corporation, TRT, recently, Demir said, there can be tiny mishaps with some of them questions. We would wish there wasn't but this is not an unexpected situation. Questions based on textbooks are sometimes cancelled because they are seen to be different in other textbooks, and sometimes a single letter wrong in the wording can lead to a question being cancelled. Mistakes have made OSYM rich. According to a report in the Bug on Daily on Friday, the head of the Anatolian Education Union, Anadolu I Time Sen, 
Cancel Gubin, said the OSYM was made rich by the mistakes made on exams. Stating that TL20 was paid to apply for every petition to cancel a question deemed faulty, Gubin said 200,000 petitions were made last year. We Anadolu I Time Sen were informed of 200,000 petitions last year. Think about it, TL20 per question per person, she said. According to the report, the fee that an applicant has to pay to be able to scrutinize his slash her question paper is TL50. While the OSYM charges TL10 to any person wishing to change their photograph in the exam database. Wrong questions aimed at discrediting exam. The heads of education unions have said that the mistakes leading to 12 questions being cancelled in the most recent KPSS were done on purpose and aimed at discrediting the exam. The heads of the Turkish Education Personnel Union, Turk I Time Sen, and the Education Personnel Union, I Time Sen, recently spoke to the Tariff Daily, where they suggested that the real aim behind the scandal was to discredit the KPSS exam and allow for separate exams for each government institution. Smail Kankuk, head of Turk I Time Sen, told Tariff that the OSYM's blunder could actually be a trap to weaken the merits of the KPSS, allowing the government to abolish it more easily. This could be a trap. The ruling party could be trying to discredit the exam so as to allow it to more easily install a like-minded bureaucracy in government institutions, because the number of wrong questions is above acceptable, he said. Kamuran Karaka, head of I Time Sen, told Tarif, this is an intentional action. It cannot be explained with wrong questions. In time they the government will prepare wrong questions, half-baked questions and mistaken questions on all exams, including university entrance exams. Ministry of Education to bypass top court ruling allowing prep schools. Today's Zaman, Ankara. The Ministry of Education will circumvent a constitutional court ruling which annulled a controversial law that sought to close down prep schools, known as Dershanes, by refusing to issue the school's new licenses. According to a report in the Hurry Yet Daily on Friday, the new formula devised by the General Directorate of Private Training Institutes, a branch of the Ministry of Education, means that those prep schools that do not transform into Tamil Lisa a basic high school would not be granted a prep school license. The Hurry Yet report also stipulates that some officials from within the ministry, speaking on the condition of anonymity, said that the constitutional court's ruling could not be applied to existing legislation, meaning the prep school ban could remain in effect. The officials from the ministry told Hurry Yet that any Dershain that continues to offer classes will be practicing without a license and categorized as a non-legal educational institute. Prep schools are private institutes that help students prepare for standardized high school and college entrance exams. There have been concerns that the law closing the schools could block upward mobility in Turkish society and leave some 55,000 people jobless as a result. The Constitutional Court recently released its reasoned decision for its July 13 ruling to annul the controversial law seeking to close down Dershanes, stating that the law was in violation of the right to education and freedom of labor. The court emphasized that it annulled the law because it was in violation of the freedom of companies to operate for profit and the freedom of education. The court also stated that Dershanes cannot be closed down unless all other alternatives, which the court says should exist outside the students' schools, are being provided to the students to help them prepare for the university entrance exam. In its recent decision, the court stated, in democracies, the duty of the state is to provide opportunities for individuals to make choices in a pluralistic environment, to refrain from having attitudes that will eliminate this atmosphere and to prevent damage being done to this atmosphere. The right to preference can be restricted under certain circumstances, but this right of the people cannot be removed completely. In a surprise move the Justice and Development Party, AK Party, government, decided in November 2013 to close down the prep schools, stirring up a massive debate. These schools, with their affordable fees, are regarded by middle and low-income families as equalizers of educational opportunities. The AK Party government's bill banning the privately owned university prep schools was passed by Parliament on March 7, 
2014 and signed into law by then President Abdullah Gul five days later. Under this law, all Dershanes were to be shut down by September 1 of this year. The main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, later challenged the law, saying it was a blow to the right to free enterprise. The CHP filed an appeal with the Constitutional Court to annul the law last year.